Thank you all uh, for being here and joining with us on this very important day. I think I'll start out with a message uh, to those who do harm to the members and great citizens of Tacoma. If you think you can run, you're wrong. If you think you can hide, you're wrong. If you think that the Tacoma Police Department is going to give up, you're wrong. The Tacoma Police Department will never give up. Our priority is public safety. Our priority is bringing justice to victims of crimes and their families. It's an honor to be standing in front of you today with the great men and women of the Tacoma Police Department as we bring you the details of the arrest of this 32-year-old cold case of Michelle Welch. It's an extraordinary, it is extraordinary that I would be standing here again just a little over a month after bringing you news of the Jennifer Bastion case, another 32-year-old cold case that our department investigated and solved. It's all thanks to the great work, diligence of the men and women of the Tacoma Police Department. These cases truly represent the crossroads of good old fashioned police work combined with improvements in technology. The advancements in DNA identification and computer modeling combined with tried and true policing techniques continue to provide results. This case is a great example of that. On Wednesday, June 20th, 2018, in the city of Lakewood, we arrested Gary Hartman as a suspect in the murder of Michelle Welch. He was taken into custody during a traffic stop following several days of surveillance by our detectives. The suspect was cooperative and the arrest occurred without incident. He is currently being held in the Pierce County Jail awaiting for arraignment. Search warrants have been executed at the Hartman's residence in Lakewood as well as his place of employment as this investigation continues to unfold. As uh, the PIO, uh, Loretta Cool indicated, due to the nature of how investigations work, we are limited to how much mo information we can provide and details on these warrants service. But we will provide further information as appropriate in the future. In the way of background of those of you who were living in Tacoma back in 1986, as I was, a rookie police officer at the time. You may recall that this horrific crime shook our community. On Wednesday, March 26th, 1986, sixth grader Michelle Welch and her two younger sisters visited Puget Park, located in the 3,100 block of North Proctor Street in Tacoma. At approximately 11 a.m., Michelle left the park to return home to get lunch for her and her sisters. Around 12.30 that day, her sisters left the park to use the restroom at a nearby business. They returned to the park around 1 o'clock and con continued to play in the gulch under a nearby bridge. Michelle's younger sisters never saw her, but about 2 p.m. noticed Michelle's bike and her lunch was, that she prepared was at the location uh, in the park where they were to meet and have a picnic. The girls notified the regular babysitter who responded to the park. Shortly thereafter, Michelle's mother made aware, was made aware of, of her missing child and the police were called. Tacoma police officers were on the scene after 3 p.m. and preliminary search was performed. A coordinated search by search and rescue personnel began around 5.30 in the evening. A search dog found Michelle's body just before 11 p.m. that night in an isolated area in the gulch, more than a quarter away from the play area. Michelle had been sexually assaulted and murdered. The crime scene was processed for evidence and unknown DNA was recovered at the time. A number of men were investigated for the crime based on witness statements. 
relating to males being seen in the area. Gary Hartman was not one of those individuals. For many years, it was suspected that the same person who could mis killed Michelle Welch was also responsible for the murder of Jenny Bastion. The two incidents occurred just within several months apart of each other. In 20, 2011, the Tacoma Police Department officially created its cold case unit to address over 150 unsolved homicides in our department's history, including the Michelle Welch and the Jennifer Bastion cases. In 2013, a DNA profile was obtained in the case of Jennifer Bastion. It was determined then that the profiles were separate and for the first time, investigators knew they were looking for two separate suspects. In 2016, the Tacoma Police Department worked with Parabon Nano Labs on a DNA phenotype profile. That profile yielded a composite that described the characteristics of a possible suspect, which includes hair color, eye color, skin tone, and body type. In May 2018, our cold case unit continued its work with Parabon Nano Labs, speci specifically their genetic genealogist in hopes of locating a possible suspect from the suspect DNA initially recovered at the crime scene of Michelle Welch. Genetic genealogy uses a DNA technology to identify subjects by matching the unknown profile to a family member. Traditional genealogy is then used to build a family tree from publicly available websites. Through this process, two brothers were identified as possible suspects. Additionally, the age of the brothers made them capable of committing this crime, and they both lived in the north end of Tacoma in 1986. Armed with that information, we collected abandoned DNA from the two brothers. The DNA samples were then sent to the Washington State Patrol Crime Lab. On Tuesday, June 19th, the lab contacted us with a match between the original DNA and the sample collected from Gary Hartman. That led to his arrest on Wednesday, the 20th of June, and closed a chapter in this long-standing cold case. Over the course of the last 32 years, the Michelle Welch case has been investigated by numerous detectives from the Tacoma Police Department. I would like to thank each of them for their hard work and their diligence, their vigilance uh, during these investigations. I'd also like to thank, take an opportunity to thank the community of Tacoma, our citizens, for the great support that they provide us on a daily basis and the trust they have in our police department. And finally, I'd like to thank uh, Parabon Nano Labs, the Washington State Patrol Crime Lab, the Pierce County Prosecuting Attorney's Office, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Pierce County Department of Emergency Management, and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. I'd now like to introduce Pierce County Prosecutor Mark Lindquist. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Lindquist. I'm your County Prosecutor. Jennifer Bastian and Michelle Welch were among the main reasons that we formed a cold case team with the Cone Police Department in 2011. As Chief Ramsdell noted, those cases stunned the city in 1986 and stayed with us. There have been advances in DNA technology, and we have been staying on top of those advances. Today, we're at a point where if you're a criminal and you've left your DNA at the scene, you might as well turn yourself in now. We will catch you. We have charged Mr. Hartman with murder in the first degree and rape in the first degree. We'll be arraigning him on those charges Monday. I'd just like to close by thanking the Tacoma Police Department, the FBI, and the crime lab, and everybody else who worked these cases, including the people out in the community who communicated with us. Uh, we appreciate the teamwork, we appreciate the collaboration, and we are happy to be delivering justice and some closure for the community. Thank you. And I'm now going to introduce Tacoma's mayor, Victoria Woodard. Thank you, Mark. Our chief just stood here and said, if you commit a crime in Tacoma, you're going to be caught. 
I want to thank the chief for his leadership and for his commitment to this city. Our responsibility, our number one paramount duty as a city is to make sure that our citizens are safe. And you can hear from our chief and from the two cold cases that we've already solved that we are working towards that and will continue to work towards that. I want to thank the chief. I also want to thank the detectives who worked so diligently on this case for over 32 years. 2009, the Tacoma Police Department created its cold case unit so that families who experienced tragedy, like the McKella Welch family, could continue to hope for justice. In 2012, the police department received a $224,000 grant from the National Institute of Justice. This funding allowed us investigators to balance the new serious crime workloads while providing attention to cold cases and DNA work. This grant was given to the Tacoma Police Department because they had a high rate for recently solved homicides. And this agency felt they would bring the same commitment to unsolved cases. As you can see from the progress that we've made over the past couple of months, you can see that that is already happening and that trust was well placed in our police department. Continued attention on cold cases like this one and advances in technology assisted in connecting the suspect in McKellar's murder. Ongoing investigations like those from the National Institute of Justice and the FBI are important to bringing criminals to justice, giving truth to hurting families, and protecting our residents from additional harm. While this new funding does not undo the tragedy that occurred in 1986, it does shine a light on the truth on the case. This does not change the suffering experienced by McKellar's family, but we hope that the capture of this suspect may prevent this tragedy from happening to others. I want to thank again all of the officers that have been involved in this case over the years. It is because of their thousand and thousand of hours of dedicated work that we are gathered here today. With this unprecedented break, we hope to bring a sense of relief to McKellar's family, the investigators who worked on this case, and our entire community. Thank you.